Okay, so to the best of my knowledge, I've activated uh, POP3 and IMAP4, and um, from what I can gather, with the new Exchange Server 2010, POP3 and IMAP4 is not, these are old protocols, and it's not the preferred way of doing mail from a 2010 server. So these are legacy protocols that you could still do, but it's not going to work uh, as nicely, and it's probably going to be not as secure for your Exchange server. But anyway, I have activated them just to show you how it works. And from the best of my knowledge, if you want to use them so that you can configure just an, a regular mail client outside of the domain, right, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to your server configuration in your Mi Microsoft Exchange console. You're going to go to um, client access. You're going to go to POP3. You're going to double click on it. And what you're going to want to do is probably take yourself all the way down to plain text login, basic authentication with no transport layer connection, uh, no transport layer security connection required. At least that's what I did. So, um, so I took it down to a basic level, right? Once you change this on your POP3, you're going to need to restart the service here. So you'll select POP3 and restart the service. Okay, then after that, you're going to want to go to your hub transport under your server configuration. You're going to select the default here, double click on it. And what you're going to want to do here is probably take this down too. So under authentication, I checked off of offer basic authentication only after starting transport layer security. So I unchecked this. Okay, and then under permission groups, I added anonymous users. Okay, so I've added anonymous users and I've unchecked offer basic authentication. And now, as you can see, I can get mail from an outside client. I'll demonstrate that from another computer. Okay, so I've opened Windows Mail Client. I'm in a, a separate computer now running Vista and I want to test out my mail server that I set up at dansgames.com. So I've got just a generic, uh, this is Windows Mail or Windows Live Mail. You can download it for free from, um, from Microsoft. And so let's create an account and see if we can get this to work. And uh, it's not going to work, but I'll explain to you why in a second. Okay, so Tools, Accounts, and we're going to add a new account. And we'll say Next. And we'll call this account um, Tracy. And we'll put in the domain name here, I mean the email address, tracy at dansgames.com. Hit next. We'll put in our mail server. All right. Mail dansgames.com, mail.dansgames.com for our SMTP and our POP3. Okay. And we'll hit next. And then the username and then the password. Right. And we'll hit next and finish. And it's going to try to connect to see if it's got some mail from mail.dansgames.com. Now, it's checking and trying to find the host right now and it's going to error out. Okay, so we're going to get an error message eventually. We'll see here. And the reason is okay. Now, okay, or we had a problem connecting. All right. Um my guess is that for one, we opened up the ports or the ports are open on our server right but the server is behind a router firewall so you're gonna have to set up port forwarding on your router firewall so that traffic coming in on port 25 will get to your mail server so you're gonna need to do that to your firewall device now if you have a Linksys wireless router you can um, set up port forwarding or if you have a sonic wall uh, let's say firewall or you have a Cisco router regardless you're gonna need to at your router uh, make sure that the port is open and port forwarding to your server 
So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, this is a wireless router, but this is the type of router that you might see if you were um, needing to open up some ports so that they could access, let's say, your server. So um, this is not my router that I was using, but I just picked a router so I could show you. All these routers are fairly similar. This is a Linksys wireless router with a special operating system uh, firmware installed called DDWRT. So if we wanted to set up port forwarding, I was going to show you how we could do that. So let's see here. We'll go to um, access restrictions and we'll probably have to log in. All right. Okay, and now that um, I'm logged in, I'm going to just move around here. Let's see here, security, access restrictions, no applications and gaming I'm gonna to go to port forwarding and I'm gonna say SMTP from port 25 TCP to the IP address that you want to contact this will be your server that you want to have it forwarded to so uh, packets come in on port 25 TCP and they're gonna we're gonna send them to 192.168.1.254 on port 25 and enable and save and if you wanted to add another one we could do pop pop 3 let's say on port 110 TCP or you could put both if if your if your protocol uses both SMTP actually can use both TCP and UDP but typically TCP so that's what I put and I'll put port 110 here for pop 3 and enable and save settings and then if I wanted to add let's say another secure um, pop 3 I'd add and say pop 3 SSL 995 TCP same thing IP address of my server that I want to send it to and then the port that it's going to come in on to the server and hit save settings enable and so now packets destined for these ports will get forwarded through my router firewall and sent on to the server that knows how to respond to these requests namely in this case mail so this is port forwarding using a DDWRT uh, control panel on a wireless router and this is going to work whether you have or s you know something like this would work for a Linksys router for a Belkin a Netgear a Cisco router a, a sonic wall you name it there's going to be some tool that enables you to allow traffic through and direct it to certain um, addresses all right so I'm using this mail client this is just a uh, Windows mail client it's not associated with Outlook in any way shape or form and I'm not logged on to the domain I'm just a computer that's off domain and I've got an account here called Tracy I'm gonna show you the properties here so if I set uh, pop3 server I set my incoming and outgoing mail, mail.dansgames.com, mail.dansgames.com. That's my POP3 and my SMTP server settings. I put in my username and password. I'm not logging on. I'm not re uh, requiring secure password authentication. I'm not requiring authentication for outgoing mail server. And under advanced, I've unchecked. Uh, my SMTP outgoing mail is on port 25, and my incoming POP3 mail is on 110 with no uh, secure connection, right? So this is insecure, right? And click OK and close. And so now I could create mail, and I'll just create mail to myself. So I'm going to say to Tracy at Dan's or from Tracy at Dan's to Tracy at Dan's subject test 3 hello 3 and I can hit send and now it goes to my outbox and now what I'll do is I'll say tools send and receive to dansgames.com 
and you can see that it works and in my inbox there's test 3 right so this is this is great you know this is uh, making pop 3 uh, and making pop 3 work but I don't believe it's the securest way to go so I'm gonna change some settings right now and show you something that would be better